previously on Jin Paul's Corner. Already past the halfway mark ng January. Hindi pa tayo nakapagpakita ng Funko Pop na nakuha natin for 2023. So, pahapyaw lang. We got this box. Sa mga nakakaalam kung ano to, alam nyo na kung ano ang pinapakita natin. So, this has one Funko Pop sa loob. Funko Pop ride, uh, to be exact. And this was coming from Sir Carlo Evangelista. I purchased the very first Funko Pop for 2023 from him. We received this through LBC no January 5. Along with that, although this is the second Funko Pop, ito naman galing kay Sir Ben Kowalski. So through LBC ko rin siya nakuha and then halos parehas lang din kung ano yung nasa kanina. Beijing lang yung kanina. So, Munich. so this is our second Funko Pop and then yan, yeah, pangalan din pala. So this actually has two inside. Yung isa, isa lang. So abangan nyo kung ano yung laman niya in the next few episodes. So ngayon, ipapakita na natin yung first and second Funko Pop natin for 2023. And as I've mentioned um, in the previous episode and also from the previously, Parehas silang rides. And then, yung isa, isang piraso or isang item. And then, yung pangalawang box includes two. So, kaya dalawa is because merong pasabay. Um, so, ako and then si Janik Loyal. So, without further ado, uh, let's check it out. Hindi natin i-unbox yung una, pero yung pangalawa, actually na-unbox na natin. We will go ahead and go through the story of that in a moment. Pero for right now, ang very first Funko Pop natin for 2023 is this. So this is Pop Rides number 114 from One Piece. Luffy with Thousand Sun. Of course, um, uh, we all know na dalawa na yung uh, rides na coming from uh, One Piece and then naging hype pa siya kasi parang limited pieces na ang hirap pang makakuha. So, ito yung una natin nakuha. And um, as I mentioned in the previous episode, we got this from a fellow fanatic which is Carlo Evangelista. Medyo pricey natin na nakuha ito and also yung um, the second uh, Funko Pop na nakuha natin for 2023. It's because line natin siya as well as of course anime. Then, kailangan natin makuha. And then, parehas kasi siyang con exclusive. So, this is exclusively from Winter Con. Okay. Funko 2022 Winter Con Winter Convention. So, hindi natin ito na numberan regarding sa collection kasi like I mentioned, uh, ayusin pa natin yung numbering ng uh, previous or yung mga uh, past na mga uh, Funko Pops. Pero, this is the first pop. Uh, we received this through LBC noong January 5th. And then, on to the second Funko Pop is this! <laughs> Pop Rides number 111, also from One Piece. Yung una niyang sasakyan, yung una niyang ship ship. Luffy with Going Mary. And this time, uh, this is uh, New York City Comic Con or Fall Convention Exclusive 2020. And uh, this time we got this from Sir Ben Kowalski. In the lower. And like I mentioned, it's uh, a bit pricey, pero it's uh, it's fine. Uh, mas, actually, mas mura siya compared dun sa ibang mga resellers. And then, we received this, or we picked it up through LBC on January 7th. So, parehas pricey, pero mas pricey siya regarding kung yung con exclusive talaga. So, ito uh, was yan, fall convention or yung NYCC, New York City Comic Con. And then, yung Thousand Sunny was um, through CCXP. Uh, Wintercon, pero CCXP uh, released through Brazil. Yeah. Or released in Brazil. So, ang kwento nitong dalawa, ito, yung tick na tayo makakuha to the Funko website. Um, kaso ayaw pumasok ng debit card. Hindi sila tumatanggap ng debit card na meron tayo. Uh, 
credit card lang usually. And of course, wala tayong address in the United States. Uh, yung pop, sa pop culture naman, we weren't able to get it. Kasi ganun din, uh, same scenario. Um, UA or The Collector 19 was also actually helping us uh, getting one of these para maka, medyo makamura. However, hindi nga, yeah, hindi nga tinanggap yung debit card natin. Also, um, sabi ko rin kanina, dalawa yung natanggap natin. Yung isa, unboxed. Kasi initially when it was announced or when it was released, um, na-announced din na fragile yung, yung flag niya uh, dun sa iba, dun sa mast uh, ng ship. Uh, ito siya. Yeah. And then yung flag dito. When it came, bali siya. So, medyo sad, pero it's it's okay. Um, uh, at least we know na uh, it is legit or it is authentic. Kasi nga, announce na naman, nababali, masyad, madaling mabali yung nandun. So, we receive it. Uh, we're not sure yung nabali ito during in transit through pop culture to the Philippines or through yung LBC nga. Sabi ni Sir Ben, uh, they checked it out and wala naman daw bali dun sa mga pinadala niya or yung mga natanggap niya. However, we received this. Uh, so possibly during transit ng LBC. However, yung isa naman hindi naman siya nabali pero meron siyang ding na konti sa box. Uh, pero that's fine. And um, total na unbox na naman natin siya yan. Yan siya yan. Pero of course, ikakabit natin to na uh, mighty bag eh, in a moment. So uh, papakita rin natin po ang nature. Uh, also, medyo prone talaga siya to na ma mabali kasi parang hindi siya nabigyan ng at least yung extra space dun sa clamp uh, also talagang ano siya uh, ganyan lang siya kakausli siya uh, there are other uh, Funko Pop rides or any other Funko items na merong mga nakausling ganun na minsan nilalagyan nila ng separate uh, cover or plastic para ma-prevent nila na, ma uh, na mabali or what not or madding so ito, uh, wala masyado. Pero it, it's fine like I mentioned. We'll just uh, mighty band it. Yeah. So, yan, nakita nyo na yung um, naman. So, pero i-review, i i-unboxing yung review natin siya pagdating ng panahon, kapag siya na. Pero yun nga, so it, again, this is the second Funko Pop na nakuha natin for 2023. Alright, so again, astig yung unang dalawang Funko Pop. Marami pa tayong nakuha uh, in January 7 kasi aside from picking this up through LBC noong January 7th, uh, meron din tayong pinake up sa Phil Bars SM Lord. But um, uh, we'll go ahead and go through that on a separate episode. So, But for now, uh, we'll just go ahead and pause from this episode and then we'll um, take it, take it. We'll make it. Uh, yung mighty ban natin yung flag doon sa mask niya. So, let's go. So we're back. So ito na siya, makakabit na. Um, medyo um, tabingi lang siya. Although hindi naman masyadong uh, pansin. Um, kasi yung yung mast din, or yung uh, medyo naka, tabingi na kaangat. Pero yan, makakabit na. Also, uh, sa mga nag-unbox na nung kanila, let me know kung gumagalaw talaga yung or baka kailangan lang din ng Ano, hindi naman siya natatanggal pero yeah, nagagalaw-galaw lang. So let me know kung uh, ganyan din yung canon nung sa inyo. So anyways, um, naka-unbox naman na. So uh, medyo konting ano lang, review lang. Uh, yung buho sa harap is actually parang metallic or yung shiny. Yung paint. Pero pagdating sa likod, matte. So, yun lang yung mga uh, masasabi ko. And then, yung... Uh, although, uh, may kumpleto naman yung mga details, pero yung walang, walang space dito. <laughs> Usually, dyan sila tumatayo. Kwarto ko nito. Pero, everything else is complete. Wala lang yung wheel. Na I think uh, it's better na hindi na nila nilagay kasi ma yun, mas mababari yun. So, different mold si Luffy. Nagagalaw din yung sa likod niya yung straw hat niya. Pwede mawala yan. Yung 
orange trees. Completo. Yung mast, yung sail. And then, pati yung anchor niya. So, sa mga hindi nakakakilala kay, kay Mary, kay Going Mary, siya yung merong pinaka tear jerking um, scene <laughs> sa, um, for me sa buong uh, One Piece um, anime and manga. So, siya yung nag-provide sa pinaka tear jerking na scene sa buong anime, sa buong One Piece anime. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood dyan, panoorin. Kasi parang yun yung pinaka first loss ng comrade or friend or nakama nakama alright so there you go so yun nakapit na natin yung naputol um, or nabali so ano yun ay tiba natin siya so yun so ito yung like I mentioned the second na pang pop up na nakuha natin for 2023 and um, this is the first one yung Luffy with thousand sun we also got other Funko Pops and Funko Pop rides on January 7th, so we'll check that out a little later, but for right now let's do a paikot of this as well as this one. Of course, ito naka-unbox na ito. Box lang. <laughs> also, go ahead and do a comment shoutout from the previous episode and the thank you portion for this episode. So, let's go! Shoutout sa'yo, The Collector 19. Maraming salamat sa suporta. Alright, paulit-ulit, thank you very much sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa channel, sa nanonood, sa nagla-like, sa nagsi-dislike, sa mga nagka-comment, and of course, sa corner crew members na walang sawang sumusuporta sa ating channel. So again, thank you very much sa lahat ng sumusuporta. And shoutout and thank you sa corner crew members. Currently ongoing pa rin yung giveaway natin from Whistle Toys Cafe and uh, Jean Paul's Corner. So Friday at 5pm we'll go ahead and do a draw. Uh, I mean extend natin kasi a couple of days lang. And we initially announced na yung draw would be uh, Sunday at uh, 5pm. Pero uh, parang isa't kalahating araw lang yung ginugul doon. So um, we decided to extend it para maraming makasali din. So yun nga, January 27th, Friday, 5pm natin siya ito draw through our channel. Uh, Magsha short live tayo for the draw. Alright, so gaya ng sabi ko kanina, uh, before the paikot, uh, pakita natin yung mga other Funko Pops na nakuha natin on January 7th. So, mostly or three of them Funko Pop right? So, aside from those two, three, four, five, six. So, ito yung una. Pop Rides number 116 from Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Namor with Orca. So, si Namor. Just to get. Meron too big na si Hunty Orca. Although sa comics, magkalaban si Killer Orca. At saka si Namor. Fort Funko Pop. Fort Funko Pop ride na magawa natin for January is ito. Pop rides number 117 from the movie Avatar Torok Makto with Jake Sully Ito yung sa um, first Avatar yung nasasakay niya yung lumilipan Alright, the last Funko Pop Pride na nakuha natin on January 7th is this 
Uprights number 296 from Warner Brothers 100 Years Celebrate Every Story is the Mystery Machine with Bugs Bunny. See si Bugs Bunny as Fred Jones. In ask ko rin and we were wondering as to why and dami ng rights na lumalabas pero wala pa rin yung Mystery Machine. Ito na siya. However, hindi si Fred Jones yung masama si Bugs Bunny as Fred Jones. And then the last Funko Pop na kuha natin is a special edition uh, Glow in the Dark from Marvel. Yeah, Pop Marvel number 1156. Mysterio. Yung original Mysterio. Kasi ang meron tayo is yung movie Mysterio. Yung MCU Mysterio. So, Glow in the Dark and then Funko. Bagong sticker na special edition. Beyond. Okay, so there you go. So yun ang mga nakuha natin early uh, January. So January 5th yung Funk Pop number 1 sa so 2023 and then January 7th the rest. 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. Alright, so mahaba na episode natin today. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do whatever makes you happy as long as you don't step on other people's happiness. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Number two pala ito. Pero dahil lang. <laughs> okay, number one. Number one and two. Friendships. Nakama.